Hi, I'm Terry Ryan. I'm a developer evangelist for Adobe. I want to talk to you today about a couple of new features of Cold Fusion 10 around HTML. Um, some of these are HTML5 features, some of these are just kind of enhanced HTML features. Uh, the first one I want to talk about is uh, charting. Now, charting is a major solution for Cold Fusion customers. The fact that you can just take data and quickly chart it has been you know, a killer feature pretty much from, from when we introduced it. Um, However, if you want to build really interactive charts, the solution for that tends to be Flash. Um, and here you'll see uh, I have a Flash uh, chart already set up. So you have chart format Flash um, all ready to go. So I'm going to go and pull up basic here, and you'll see some cool Flash goodness, right? It comes up, it animates in. Um, these pieces are interactive. I can create interactive uh, parts of this chart. Um, the downside is that this won't work on an iPad, right? And that's, uh, that's kind of killer for a lot of, especially you're de delivering to charts uh, up to decision makers and a lot of times are on an iPad. Um, so we wanted to make this kind of as seamless and as easy as possible. So you'll see here I've got CF chart format, flash. I'm just going to change that to HTML. And when I do that, I'll spin this up, hit refresh, and HTML chart. Same interactivity, um, but this is completely HTML. And this will work on an iPad. This will work on anything. Um, so that's just one feature. I want to show you a couple more. Um, the next one I want to show you is around mapping and geolocation. So modern browsers have the ability to get your location from, you know, from the, the network and then use that in, in applications that are based on location. Um, we also have within Cold Fusion CF Map, integrated Google Maps that make it really easy to just pull those maps in. We want to combine those features and make maps that would know where you are. So you see here, I've got um, just a little demo here, um, and I center the address in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, I put the map item here uh, addresses in Philadelphia, PA, which is where I normally am. Um, so if I go to this uh, this map, HTML5 chart map. You'll see it renders the map, and um, there I am in Philadelphia. But I'm not actually in Philadelphia today. Today I'm in San Francisco recording these videos. So what I can do here is on CF map, map item, I'm going to say show user equals true. And that's going to have Cold Fusion prompt the browser to give me geolocation and data and integrate it into the map. So instead of me being in Philadelphia, it's going to point to wherever I actually am. So I'm going to hit refresh here. And you'll see that um, the browser actually prompts me, says Zeus Dev, which is the name of my server, wants to track your physical location, learn more. And I can either allow or deny. I'm going to hit allow. And you'll see it's going to render. And it's going to figure out that I am actually in San Francisco. So that is another kind of cool little HTML, uh, enhanced HTML feature that we've added to Cold Fusion 10. Final feature I want to talk to you about is something really cool. It's called WebSockets. WebSockets are basically real-time data paths, so basically allowing the, the browser, instead of waiting for a poll, so the client pulls the server and says, hey, uh, do you have more data for me? Do you have more data for me? The server can actually say, I've got more data for you. Um, HTTP doesn't really have this built in. Um, WebSocket is the new way of doing it. So um, ColdFusion makes this very, very easy to do. So here on my application.cfc, I'm going to set up a WebSocket. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, here's my channel. It's called WS Chat. Because if I'm doing a WebSocket demo, I am required by some sort of international convention to do a chat demo. Um, but it's the easiest way to kind of show this off. And I've got uh, a chat interface here. Let's look at it in HTML before I, uh, before I actually fire it up. HTML WebSockets web Chat 2. Um, and you'll see here I've got you know, a, basic, uh, a basic chat demo. It doesn't do anything right now because I, I, I haven't wired this up. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is, in my page, I'm going to tell Cold Fusion to connect to that particular WebSocket channel. You'll see here I pull in the new tag, CF WebSocket. Um, I give it a name, which is how I'm going to interact with it in JavaScript. I subscribe to the WS chat that I set up in the application.cfc. And I have a function for on message. So then I'm going to write that, uh, that bit of functionality. Um, and you'll see here I have an on message function. So the on message function says, hey, whenever there's new data, add it to this history text area. And it's pretty straightforward. And the next thing I want to do is I need some way of getting that data back into the channel. So I'm going to create another little bit of code here. Uh, 
four. And I'm going to actually send the message. So when I send the message, I'm going to grab the data from the message box. I'm going to publish it back to the web chat uh, channel. So let me just add the uh, listener here on click. I would like you to send message. Uh, and that's all I need. So I've got an on message handler. I've got the send message. I've added the click handler here to this button. I'm going to go through and refresh this page. We'll see, there we go. We've got a new page for that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new page of this. Um, otherwise, I mean, it's a chat demo. You need to have two windows or you know, it doesn't really show off anything here. So I'll fire that up. And you'll see here I've got these two windows. I'm going to send the first chat over and say, hello, send. And you'll see there it is right there in that text window. and say hello back or something else back, and you'll see that I'm able to communicate between these two, two text windows. Now, this isn't really that compelling, right? Uh, this is, I mean, the, the WebSocket stuff is really cool, but I really, um, this interface kind of uh, is kind of lacking. So I did a little bit more work on this. I added some kind of custom CSS and made kind of a better version of this. So I added a couple more features, and you kind of see it in action. Now, um, I'm going to pick uh, two names here. Terry, enter, and Paul, enter. And you'll see Paul joins the chat, Terry joins the chat, they're both there. Now, um, one of the cool things about WebSockets is I can use the server to intercept this stuff, right? So on the back end here, I've got two CFCs that translate designer speak into English and developer speak into English. And I've got a listener. Um, that's going to say, if Paul says something, translate that as a designer, and if Terry says that, translate it as a developer. So let's test this out, see if this is working. So um, Terry's going to say, that is impossible, right? Typical developer speak, that's impossible, we can't do that. I hit send, you'll see that my window, Terry's window, says that's impossible, but on Paul's window, it tells me that's impossible, but what it really means is I think it's possible, but also boring. On the flip side, as a developer, Paul is going to tell me something when he looks at my design template. Uh, that's a good start. And I'll hit send. And you'll see that uh, Paul says that's a good start, but it translates it for Terry and says, means you have the design skills as a t Tasmanian devil. So you see here, um, I'm able to build a complete chat client using nothing but HTML and JavaScript. Um, a little bit of cold fusion on the back end. I'm able to pull in cold fusion, make sure it's parsing and, and analyzing all of the chat content and participating in that chat. Um, so this is WebSockets, this is geolocation, uh, and this is um, HTML5 charts. Uh, if you want to find more out about Cold Fusion 10's HTML5 features or any of Cold Fusion 10's features, please check out uh, the Adobe Developer Connection.